You're watching Suck Professor with Hank and James. Yeah. Hey, say hi, James. Hello. You forgot to say hi, James. I can never say and, that. Um, all right, guys, we're going to go into this bunker. Looks uh, looks like a big brick tomb, so of course we're going to go inside. That's what people do. That's what rational, <laughs> rational men do. They go and decide scary places that they're not equipped for. Uh, I think this calls for a little bit of my headlamp. Oh, wow. wow nice. I like how they did that. It's pretty powerful. Yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is suddenly really cool. Uh, all right, guys. So we're if you're, if you're just joining us, go watch the other ones. I don't know why you wouldn't pick this up in the middle. F. Oh yeah, I know that. <laughs> I could have given you the tip, you fucking computer. So we're an astronaut who's crashed and he keeps bed again. seeing beds. Now I'm, I'm not making him walk. This really makes me think you're onto something with like the whole guy bedridden in a hospital. Yeah, just... have you just seen Jacob's Ladder? Oh yeah, yeah. Starring TV's Tim Robbins. <laughs> TV's. Look around, man. Look at this place. Oh, let's look at him now. Oh, no lens flare. Uh, Outrageous. What is this, an indie game? Uh, yes. So now we're like in a big sewagey tunnel, maybe, where they buried, uh, you know, Martian King Tut, who went out there and suck a dick. Oh, boy. Oh, no. You know, there's one thing that never fails in video games. It's stacks of metal barrels. Nah, you know who loves barrels more than anyone, right? Donkey Kong? Someone else who does YouTube. Uh, barrel rolls? Is, are you talking about the guy who uh, flies pilots? You mean pilots? Uh, Booty pilot? There you go. New objective. There's no power in this area. Find a way to restore the electricity. All right, guys. We've got a meeting here. we got to give our astronauts some sort of challenge, all right? What do you want to make them do? Right, let's have them turn on the lights. Sounds good. All right. What do you think I got to do? Follow the wire? Uh, yeah. So you can't get through the door, right? Yeah. I need to turn on electricity. Okay, let's look for jumping puzzles. Oh yeah, you just gotta be able to probably get inside yeah, that cage area. Yep. Be nice if there was some babes in there. Then I would call it caged heat. Oh, I could tell you a joke, but it's do not. Here we go. Oh, X. Confidential information. Oh shit, yeah. Oh, it even comes with equipped with the weird Soviet era megaphone on the speaker <laughs> on the wall. Oh no, is this a timer now? I gotta get a... Yeah! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. We're in a cafeteria. Okay. Probably want to head for that. Uh oh, more light. Yeah, let's go to the one table that's got a spotlight on it. Nothing weird could ever happen at that. With that's got a dead, a dead oh, skeleton. Yes, enjoying it's opposed lunch. to a living skeleton. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have one of those live skeletons. I want to get the skeleton on the camera here. Get the skeleton on the fucking camera. I'm a goddamn director. There he is. Yeah, look at that good skeleton texture. What'd you do at work today, honey? I uh, put a skeleton in a chair down at the uh, at the game factory where I work with my friends. <laughs> did he have enough? Did he have the right number of rib cages? I don't know. Oh, honey, why did you marry me? All right. Did you know she was Three nights ago, I managed to barricade myself in the room. With any luck, they won't be able to get me in here. Of course, I will turn into skeleton. And when I turn into skeleton, I will always have lunch. Lunch is favorite of skeleton. You know why? Never gain weight. That is the best part of being lunch. What is skeleton's favorite meal? Ribs. Or I mean to say ribs. That is skeleton's favorite meal. How much does it cost? What, what government agency do skeleton call during hurricane? Femur. They call wow. they call femur. <laughs> they, what? That one was almost worth running out of oxygen for. All right. Oxygen, some <laughs> oxygen. You can suck my oxygen. Actually, I have to compliment them. All right, so what am I saying here now again? Director's report. Oh, yeah, I'm a director. That's not. What, all right, I lost track of our progress. There, this is this guy. Peace with the idea. All right, so he's happy he's dead. Good. All right. Fortunately, I had the world's biggest cafeteria to eat in. It is filled with jumping puzzles. Unfortunately, Skeleton cannot do a jumping puzzle. I work with a guy from Russia. It sounds just like that. Does he? He sounds like this a little bit. Yeah. They have a hard time talking in American English. 
But you speak Russian to me and I will kill you. All Russians all the time can build guns out of anything and wear black leather jackets. Mm-hmm. That's what they can do. I think we're going to have to get our way through here eventually. Move it! Okay. Maybe if I turn my light off, will that open the door? One, two, three, light! Didn't work. So we One, two, three, light! To find the portal gun. Yeah. Or dog. <laughs> Half-Life 2's dog. Oh, I forgot about him. God. He just comes up whenever you need him. It's so freaking long since I played that. Do you think, I think I we've been here? playing Half-Life 4 by now? Yeah, and uh, by the way, awesome game. When the fuck are they going to yeah, work on it? Okay. Uh, Where do I go? I can't make that jump. No. Let's, let's explore! What is this? What is this? I bet I can make use of this. Is it a bomb? Oh, yeah, okay, so what do I explore? Oh, okay, so we're gonna blast that door open that you just, uh, turned Ah, well, well, I want the light up there, though, man. I gotta... Yeah. Obviously, something's going on up there. What is that? It's driving me crazy. <laughs> is that Tinkerbell? Oh, they're all over the place. Can I blow up the skeleton? Probably not. It'd be awesome. Die, bitch. But... Die! <laughs> I, I doubt oh, you can detonate I it have always wanted skeleton to become skeleton in order to eat dynamite for lunch. Because I am skeleton forever. Okay, pick it up. Alright, <laughs> he's All right. cute. So I'm guessing this has... Hey, it looks like he's got bottle rockets for a bunch of dicks. <laughs> Look at him, he's holding his huge boner and there's a bunch of bottle rockets. A bunch of... Re oh, I've got a massive erection. Maybe I'm not human after all because I have about eight penises lashed together. I know that doesn't make any sense and I don't want it to. So for science time, what oh is Oh boy! It? Oh boy! Now it's on. You are excited? If I see fire in an oxygenless atmosphere... Well then, yeah. Nice! Ah, I saw fire. No, but there would be... There is some flame even in, without oxygen. Really? Well, there, it doesn't last. Doesn't it's combustion cold. require at least some oxygen? I don't know. I don't know. But I know when things explode in space, there's still an orange so part. Found hmm. some kind of okay. I'm making that up. Transported them to this place. See? Portal! Yeah. And then, and then things went terribly wrong. And then, and then things went terribly wrong. I would love it if you pay, if you, like you heard, All right, guys, did you get that? Like, like the voiceover <laughs> actor. Oh, uh, is it lunchtime yet? And then things went terribly wrong. Is it lunchtime yet, fuckers? <clears throat> How much time has it been, James? Um, Are you watching? Hello. How about we go until... Oh. Okay. I found my way into some sort of research facility. Came across... He came. He came on the skeleton. <laughs> came all over a skeleton's face. I didn't know I'd have to come 400 million light years to give a facial. But I did. Because I've always wanted to do that. They don't call it spa a spatial facial for no reason. Documents nearby indicate the Russians built some sort of portal system that led here, though. Yeah, I'll tell you what their portal system was. A big sewer drain. New theory. Um, portal destroyed the atmosphere. Could be. Could be. All right. Stupid Russians. They, and they put potatoes in the corner. Yep. Okay, pick up the chair. Pick. Oh, you know what? There's another dynamite. Maybe... Uh, they... Oh, yeah. We probably need to bring that... No, you can climb that. Yeah, I know, but we could also use the dynamite to blow up our enemies. <laughs> just like in Russia. We can go back and get those frogs. Yeah. Salamanders. Have some frog stew. Yeah. Okay, donate to the Red Cross. <laughs> Alright. Nothing's creepier than the hospital part of every goddamn abandoned facility. That's all video games have taught me. My, All my years of playing video games is one thing is creep. Ho old hospitals are fucking creepy. The virus is spreading faster now. Alright. Okay. So my evacuation is uh, Good thing I took a time to record this stupid message. <laughs> I have no urgency. In, I can't do the Russian thing anymore. It's gone. Mm -hmm. uh, it was good while it lasted. Yeah, it was. It was real good. Things are very scary here now. <laughs> but I have time to record record stupidity Russian message. Oh, look, it's my thing. I bet his wife died during birth. Oh, baby. Baby, I'm here. I'm here, baby. I'm here for you, baby. I'll even take off my mask for you. Of 
course there's going to be some sort of reveal. Amazing! Amazing! With each test we run, her samples appear more promising. I will log more details later. He's a Russian. That's what this guy is. Yeah. He's, an, he's a Russian who is actually was training to become an American spy, or a Russian spy in America. Hence the American mm. flag suit. It's, it's actually all fake. Yeah. And he woke up because they killed his girlfriend, and they, they, they put him out. And then they turned everybody into skeletons. All right. Well, uh, guys, I, I think you know what time it is. It is investigate the creepy green footprints time. In the next but episode. In the next episode. Yes, exactly. You're not going to be able to see it until you click on next episode. We're going to see it because we're part of the Illuminati. <laughs> and you know what's not part of the Illuminati? Turn off your headlights. Just like that. Thanks, man. God damn it. it and cool. um, good thing there's phosphorescent footsteps. I'm assuming it's from whoever abandoned this. And uh, all right, guys, love you all. Don't remember. <laughs> don't forget to. Uh, uh, one time, I found a little tiny twig stuck at the end of my penis, and I was surprised because I don't remember being outside much that day. <laughs>